In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how you can prevent your fog lights from turning off when you activate the high beams on your fourth gen RAM using Alpha OBD, so let's get started. Okay, and welcome back to today's video, you guys. So we're gonna show you guys how to keep your fog lights on when you have the high beams on. On these 4th gen RAMs, it disables the fog lights when you turn on the high beams. So they've programmed that from the factory. Some guys have done you know, physical workarounds, but it's actually a programming change that we can do. I'm gonna show you guys what you need to get it done and how to do it. So you're gonna need one of these. I'll link everything in the description below. You're gonna need this OBD Link MX Plus. I'll link that in the description. If you're an iPhone user like me, unfortunately they don't have Alpha OBD for iPhone, but you can use either a PC or you can use a tablet or Android device. So we've got the tablet here and we've got Alpha OBD loaded and you need your truck. So let's go ahead, we'll plug this in to the truck and I'll show you guys what we need to do. So here we are at the truck. You're gonna go down here to your OBD2 port, plug this in. We're gonna hit the key. Even if you leave an accessory, I know a lot of guys probably say you have to have it to run, but accessories enough. Let's go back to our tablet. It's all Bluetooth so we can do it from inside the shop. So here we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on our little Alpha OBD. This is an app that you can download. Um, you can download it from the App Store or if you're getting it for your PC, you can also get it from Amazon. Either way, I'll link it to where you guys can find this app. It's about $50. And boom, so it's gonna pop up like this. You're gonna have to select your year make model, all that stuff. So we've got Ram 1500, we've got the body computer, and you can see here all the different brands. So Dodge, you know, slash Ram. We're gonna go over here and select your year, your model year that you have. So you're gonna see the list. So in our case, we're gonna go 2013 to 2017. One side note, you guys, is if you have a 2018 and up, you will also need a security bypass dongle. I've found one that works uh, and is very affordable. It's like 20 bucks. So I'll also link that down in the description. So it's an extra step you're gonna have to uh, do, but you know I don't make the rules. I'm just telling you guys what it is. So I will link that. You'll have to end up installing that in order to get Alpha OBD to work. So again, 2018 and newer, you'll need the security bypass module as well. So here we go, it's gonna say, you know, connect. We're gonna say connect. Some of this stuff is a little bit finicky, I'm not gonna lie. It sits there and kinda does a little funny thing sometimes, you know, it'll say attempting, it might take a few tries, but you can see here, connected to body control module, boom. So we're connected. You're gonna see down here in the corner, and again, I know this is a tablet, but I'm using it because it's a lot bigger. Your phone is gonna be a condensed version of this. You're gonna see this little tiny car with its hood popped up, <laughs> you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna see this list of functions. So you're gonna click here and if, I, if I'm going too fast for you guys, just slow the video down or replay it, but you're gonna see a huge list of stuff. So you're gonna go scroll all the way to the bottom and you're gonna see car configuration change. You're gonna click on that and then you're gonna see another drop down all of a sudden appear and it says select option. So this gives you a ton of stuff. This is essentially the programming setup for your vehicle. I mean, it it works for you know any Mopar product or Dodge stuff, uh, the newer stuff at least. So this works on a Charger, or a Challenger, or anything like that. You can even see here, vehicle is an SRT. Some of these things they block out. So you know just because it says vehicle is an SRT, you can't just click on it. All of a sudden you're going to have a Hellcat motor installed in your vehicle, but everything is here. They pretty much use the same body control modules for all of these. So we are gonna go ahead and we'll scroll to the function and I'll show you guys which one it is. The easiest way is you'll notice at the top here, there's a little magnifying glass. Just click there and type in fog and it's gonna find it. So you're gonna see here, CBC features, fog, lamp, dropout enabled. We're gonna click on it. And then you're gonna see here, select value. So we're gonna say no, and when we click start, it's gonna tell you before it actually enables the change or confirms the change, it's gonna tell you what the status is. So watch, we'll hit start. It's gonna say current status of the component is yes. So we've selected no. So once we hit next, it's gonna write that change 
to our computer, and then that change will take effect. So we're gonna hit next, and just give it a second. Like I said, it's, um, this program is a little bit finicky, but it does do what it's supposed to do. Procedure completed, you can see there, and that's it, it's done. So we're gonna cycle the key. Um, some guys will leave it for five minutes, you know, the system just to kind of take effect, but we're gonna go ahead, cycle the key on our vehicle, and then I'll show you guys that it actually confirmed and it made that change. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the truck. And I'm gonna turn our headlights on, and then I'm also gonna turn the high beams on, and we'll go out front, and we'll confirm the change. So there you have it, you guys. You can see the camera kind of picks up. It's, the LED isn't flickering, but it's just the way the camera picks it up makes it look like it's flickering. So we've got our fog lights on, we've got our low beam projectors on, and you can see we've got our high beams on. And I can show you the other side. I know it's daylight out, but you can see the same thing. High beam is on, low beam is on, and our fog lights are on as well. So that's it, you guys. So that's gonna be it, you guys. I wanna keep this video concise, short, and sweet. If you guys found this helpful or informative, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you guys missed any steps, just go back and rewatch it, you know, slow it down, whatever you gotta do. But I wanted to keep it straight to the point and not drag this video on forever. If you guys have any questions, ask them down in the comment section down below. If you guys wanna see more stuff like this, also let me know in the comments down below and any of the stuff that you need to do this will be down in the description. You guys can check out the stuff that I use to get this done so you guys can do it too. So thanks for watching, give it a thumbs up, check out the other videos on the channel and we'll see you guys on the next one.